Hey, it's Dusty Thunder with another AITA follower submission for you. Am I the astronaut for asking my in-laws to get rid of their couch? I don't have Reddit, but this has been a six-year argument in my home. Am I the astronaut for asking my in-laws to get rid of the couch in their basement? Me and my hubby have been together since 2013. In 2015, I found out I was pregnant with our first child. In 2016, three weeks after this child was born, I found out he was cheating on me. Fast forward, we worked our shit out and ended up back together after a year or so of co-parenting, counseling, and decided to give it another go and everything has been wonderful. We are now expecting our third child and are very happy. However, the cheating happened in our old house while I took our newborn to a baby shower out of town with my family. I found out from the other woman that she knew about me and the baby and didn't care. She also disclosed to me several details about the incident, including the fact that it was on my couch, the couch in my living room that I paid for myself. I asked him to get rid of the couch, as seeing it hurt me, and I didn't want to bring his daughter over for visits and have to sit on that couch, being as how the whole thing broke me. His parents, however, thought it was a waste to get rid of a perfectly good couch and insisted on keeping it in their downstairs living room. This has been going on for six, going on seven years. Everyone is fully aware of why I have an issue with the couch and that it's basically one big reminder of one of the worst times in my life. I do not want to watch my children sit on that couch. I refuse to sit on it myself, and it ends up ruining my entire day every time I see it. They think I'm an astronaut for asking them not to keep it because why would they pay for a couch when they have a perfectly good one they got for free? Me and my husband still argue because I'm upset about it, but he doesn't want to argue with them over something so silly. So, am I unreasonable for wanting them to get rid of the couch? Or in a perfect world, let me set the couch on fire. I don't think you're an astronaut for feeling the way that you feel. Your feelings are certainly valid here. Why the hell your husband gave the couch to them in the first place is really confusing to me. You asked him to get rid of it for a reason, so he put it somewhere where you would have to see it. And really, I think that's the bonehead move that makes this his responsibility of fixing. And there are several solution paths here. Their whole thing is they don't want to get another couch because they got this couch for free and there's nothing wrong with it. And in their eyes, sure, I understand that. However, there are some solution paths. Hubby can sell that couch for them and get a different couch. Hubby could just buy another couch for them so that you can have that couch to set on fire. You see where I'm going with this. There are ways for them to get a different couch there without them being out of pocket for it and everybody's happy. Them not wanting to explore any of these options is a lack of respect, in my opinion. Your hubby not wanting to go to bat over this with them because it's a silly thing is just another strike against him. He managed to somehow make up for what he did and you guys are now in a good spot, but there's still this reminder back there. And that's really his responsibility to get rid of if he wants you guys to be in a better spot because that thing is always going to hold you back. Always. And it's going to be there for a long time. It is his responsibility to make that right. And he has multiple ways to do that, and it's on him to make it happen. So maybe he just shows up with a new couch, and he's like, hey, got you guys an even better couch. Installs it, takes the old one out, brings it home so you can set it on fire, whatever. You are not an astronaut for feeling how you feel. Let me know what you guys think here. Maybe there's something that I'm missing. And just remember, all of our opinions here are shaped on our own unique life experiences. Your opinion is going to be completely different than mine because you've lived a different life than me. And the same for everybody who mentions something different in comments. So let's all be respectful, share your different viewpoints, and we can do that as adults.